So, Connor, why do you believe you're the A-side in the Floyd Mayweather fight? Well, I've generated $400 million in revenue for the company. Floyd needs me. Need you? I barely even know who the fuck you are. I don't need shit. You ain't the A-side. You ain't even the D-side. You Z-side, motherfucker. What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. As you guys can see, I'm on Floyd Easy Work, Money Mayweather's verified Instagram account. Now, you can tell it's verified by the blue check mark. That's what that represents. And he just made a post, which is why I'm doing a video. And check it out. So he posted this flyer. It's a picture of him. It says boxing. And a picture of Conor McGregor. It says MMA. Mayweather Conor. Live on pay-per-view. CBS Showtime. Mayweather Promotions. TMT. And he just tagged some people on the TMT squad. 13 minutes ago. So this is fresh. Hot off the presses. And obviously, it might be a hint that this fight is going down. Now, Freddie Roach, trainer of Manny Pacquiao. He says that Floyd Mayweather came to his gym recently, I think it was last week, and he stopped by the gym, and he says there's rumors that people are reaching out to Freddie to have him train Conor McGregor, and Freddie Roach goes on record saying it would take three years to get Conor McGregor ready and prepared for a boxing-only fight with a guy like Floyd Mayweather, and he says, uh, Floyd Mayweather, when he came into his gym, he says, hey, if you really do get that offer to train Conor McGregor, you should take it take it because we're going to make a shit ton of money with this particular fight so i want to share some brief brief thoughts with this i've made like past videos about this if it's going to happen it's going to happen um i would clearly favor floyd mayweather especially in boxing you guys seen the skit that i did at the beginning he's clearly the a side i was having a little bit of fun of it with it i like conor mcgregor he knows how to sell the fights he definitely took chapters out of the mayweather playbook in terms of how he's branding himself and things like that he's a good fighter but, I mean, boxing is not his immediate forte, so I, obviously I would favor the boxer in the equation. But I think it's big just because we haven't really seen two guys kind of who are cash cows in their own discipline meet in the middle. You know what I'm saying? You typically see, like, MMA fighters who are washed up or boxers who are considered past it, like a James Tony, and then they make the crossover to fight in the UFC or whatever the situation is. But you don't usually see them, like, when they're fresh and kind of at their peaks and some people could argue Connor's not at his peak I mean he has one loss in the UFC it was via submission in his very last fight but he's still a good fighter he and just he's one fight removed from from knocking out Jose Aldo who's a certified champion in 13 seconds so even with the Nate Diaz I think he's still a big star and he's still a good fighter um let me know what you guys think do you want to see it I mean, there's a lot of hoopla, a lot of people are mad, like, oh, this is bullshit, why should Floyd fight him? But realistically, I don't see anyone at 47 in boxing beating Floyd Mayweather either. Not Danny Garcia, not Keith Thurman, Sean Porter, they're all great fighters, but experience-wise and stuff like that, I don't see what they bring to the table that's so vastly different than the Cotos, the De La Hoyas, the Canelos, and all the guys that Floyd Mayweather has beat to this point. Unless Floyd Mayweather were to get old overnight and he just doesn't look like the same Floyd. But other than that, I would pick him to to beat anyone really at 147. Pacquiao rematch or or whoever. And I think his resume and his past fights have, have proven that. It's, it's really hard to go against him until otherwise proven. Like I said, Father Time could catch up to him and maybe he looks like vulnerable. He doesn't look the same. But we have to wait and see because he, he seems to be the master of adjusting and finds a way to get it done. So... Uh, a lot of people complain about this man right here possibly facing Conor McGregor. It's a money fight. Mayweather has 19 years of history in the sport as a pro, not to mention his Olympic background where he got robbed, things of that sort. So, I mean, he's at the tail end of his career. He's trying to cash out and make the most money and the biggest events in in his respective sport or get the highest paydays and, and stuff like that. As far as legacy, he already has the names like the Pacquiao, the Cotto. So, I mean, it is what it is. You got other guys in boxing who are kind of trying to emulate this, right? Trying to emulate this, like where they're like, oh, I want the highest paydays and stuff like that. But they don't even have resumes with the Diego Corrales' undefeated Ricky Hattons and Cotos and uh, Canelos and De La Hoya. Canelo was undefeated and 10 years plus younger. So it, it's hard for some of these other fighters to try to duplicate and emulate what Floyd Mayweather's doing when they don't have the resume. They're trying to do it with out stellar resumes without 19 plus years in the sport things like that so a lot of people just hate floyd and they they hate the idea of conor mcgregor 
again, it, it's it's combat sports. So Conor McGregor seems to be a big dude. Again, I would favor Floyd Mayweather in this, especially in boxing, because it's a boxing event. But it is what it is, and I think he's trying to maximize his dollar and, and again put on the biggest fight. And like I said, I don't picture anyone in boxing at 47 beating him either. So. If he wants to take another pretty much 147 pounder in another sport and cross over and make a shit ton of money, then it is what it is. But like I said before, Conor McGregor clearly isn't the A side, at least to me, especially with what happened out in his last fight and he's never made the paychecks and things like Floyd Mayweather has. Drop it in the comment section. Let me know if you want to see this Mayweather versus Conor. Is it a big circus to you? Let me know that. Drop it in the comment section. Make sure you like my video as always. Hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video is Ego signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.